Tonight, the Ohio NAACP is stepping in after complaints of slurs and racial targeting experienced by middle and elementary students in the Geneva Area City School District. Our Isabel Lawrence spoke with the Ashtabula NAACP and a parent in the district about the allegations. These children are not getting the education that's promised to them. Over the past two months, Ashtabula NAACP President Liz Penna has received about 10 complaints from parents in Geneva Area City Schools, alleging racial name-calling, slurs, and targeting of their children at the hands of their peers. We had a student threaten to bring a gun into the school and shoot all the Afro-American students. I'm using that word lightly. That's not the word that was used. Now the Ohio NAACP is investigating, but Penna says conversations with the district and offers of diversity training haven't gone anywhere. I hope that we don't have to go down the road of litigation because I feel that there, some of these cases, there could be, could be a possibility of lawsuits. Ricardo Velazquez is a parent in the district and was a student there himself. I asked if he thinks changes will come from these complaints. Honestly, no. I think it's just the same stuff that's going to keep happening. Velasquez is having his own issues with the district and turned to the NAACP. He says his son is frequently sent home despite feeling fine, then penalized for truancy. He also says his son was given a Spanish therapist despite not speaking Spanish. Velasquez believes the school made a judgment based on his last name. I thought that was kind of um, like they went off like racial things like I, I didn't think it was right and that's why I wanted a meeting with them. But Velazquez says he did not feel school staff cared. His son will attend a different school next year. With the school year coming to a close, Penna hopes they can use the summer to work on what can be done to make next year better. Right now I would like to concentrate on building the esteem of these students. Let them know that you are important. Be proud of your heritage. Now, I did reach out to the district today, and I received a statement from them, which reads in part, quote, The district takes all allegations seriously and conducts a thorough investigation. We apply our policies and procedures and comply with those standards. When threats are made, they are swiftly investigated in conjunction with local law enforcement, as school safety is our number one priority. Now, I'm told by the Ashtabula NAACP that there will be a meeting held on May 2nd. It will be open to the public to just go over some of these complaints and discuss what's going on and what comes next. And just as soon as we have more details on that meeting, we will be sharing them with you on WKYC.com. Okay, Isabel Lawrence, live in Geneva. Thank you.